Listen, man, I want to know if you know this guy. Well, what's he look like? Okay, this guy, I got picked up by the cops the other day, all right? While I was there at the uh, police station, there was this guy sitting next to me. He's about 5'8", I don't know, he kind of built, he's got a scar on his right shoulder. Real short, brown hair, buzz cut, kind of got a thin mustache and goatee. Talks real funny. The only guy I can think of that talks like that would be Jose. Jose got a tattoo of the biohazard symbol right here on his chest? Yeah, he does, actually. Listen, I've got to, I've got to get in contact with this guy. I, I, you can't tell him who wants to get in contact with him, but if you set up a meeting, I got $10,000 for you. What for? I got an extra five if you don't ask that question. All right, I'll get a hold of you when I know what I can do. I hit the nail right on the head. Didn't take long. That next day, Oliver called me back down. So what'd you find out? He's a customer of mine. I called him. He's going to meet me down at the river tomorrow at 9. All right, man. I appreciate it. I'll get you that money. Remember, tomorrow night at 9. Tomorrow night at 9. Easy enough. Chances are it was the same guy. I mean, how many people say Hakuta Puta? I don't even know what the fuck that means. Well, I found out who did this. The way I see it, I got two options. One, I could just let what they did stand. Or two, I could do something about it. I've decided I'm gonna go with option two. You're not gonna be proud of me for what I'm gonna do. I'm not even gonna be proud of myself. But these bastards are going to get what's coming to them. You probably already know what I'm going to tell you, but I'm going to tell you anyway. I'm going to kill them. I'm going to kill them all. You move, I'll fucking kill you. Oliver? You move, asshole! Man, what the fuck ever. Come on! Ah! What the fuck? Kuda puta! Who the fuck are you? Don't play dumb. You know who the fuck I am. So, what made you choose me in autumn? Were you gonna fucking answer? I don't fucking know. I want you to take a look over there. What do you see? Why don't you just let me go? You just wait right here. I brought you here for one reason and one reason only. First that. I recognized your voice at the police station. What the fuck are you talking about? Looks like somebody was a little too drunk to remember. The other night when you were picked up by the cops, I was there. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about.
bottom, kidnapping, your voice on the phone, me finding her dead body outside my house. I want to know why you took her, where you took her, what happened to her, and I want to know right fucking now. Man, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Okay, I believe you. But my friend over here don't. What the fuck are you doing? See, my friend here, I trust my friend. He seems to think you're lying. So I'm going to see if he can get you to do some talking. See this big toe? I'm going to take it and I'm going to smash the ever-loving shit out of it. And once I smash that one, then I'm going to move on and on and on. Eventually, you're going to run out of toes. If you're not talking by then, I'm going to make my way up. Sooner or later, I'm going to get to something you miss. Man, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. No! I'm going to put down! Fuck, I don't know what you're talking about! Oh! Fine, I might know something! Alright, now we're getting somewhere. What you got for me? Fine, all I know is it had to do with your money. Well, no fucking shit, Einstein. Nine times out of ten when someone gets kidnapped, it has to do with money. Ah! They wanted the money, I'm just a drop-off guy! Who's they? Don't kill me, man. I got a family. I want to know who they are, Jose. I want names. Names! You worried about me. I ain't telling you shit. Okay, you son of a bitch. You ask for it. Hey, you son of a bitch, you see this candle? I give you about a minute or two before you start puking up that gasoline you swallow. When you puke that gasoline up and it hits that candle, it's going to burst up. And since you're covered in gasoline, you're going to go up in flames too. Unless you start talking. <laughs> I'll just take the candle away. I will, man, once you start talking. <laughs> Alright, man, I'll, I'll tell you everything. <laughs> saw my face. So how do I find Amherst? 1205 Main Street uptown. Your family, they're protected. Because I'm going to kill Amherst and his boss before they get the chance to even touch your family. And the other thing that's for sure, they're not going to kill you either. I just beat him to it. <laughs> <laughs> 